All right, I'm gonna be going over a game, and this is a replay. Now you can see in the bottom, we can see all that green over there. Demolition. Now, um, there's the, the last game I played. Every single person was using a Kimbo's. So you know when everyone, you know what happens when everyone uses the Kimbo's. I use the Kimbo's because they were getting pretty annoying with it. So I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna use the Kimbo's. I will show you how to use them properly. I don't want to die that barrel explosion there. And look at these guys, they think they got me. I'm like, nope, have a good night. Enjoy the rest of your evening with my chemos, because I'll show you how to use them. No, this guy killed me forever. Look at the bottom, there's like a lot of green. And, uh, there was three rounds in this, but for some reason my overtime round didn't work on recording, so I'm just going to skip it at the end. I mean, you can see on the bottom right, it didn't even record it. It's kind of like... Just nothing in there. But anyways, continue with the raping here. Since they use the Kimbo's all game, yes, uh, last game. I use the Kimbo's this game. Look at this guy, for example. He just tried to use the Kimbo's. I'm like, nope. You're gonna die my Kimbo's because you suck. And that's how it works. I gotta show them how to use it properly. So this match, I'm gonna play Team Deathmatch. Uh, this is Team Deathmatch, this is not Demolition, because who actually plays Demolition on Demolition? Uh, about 1% of the people. Everyone plays Team Deathmatch on Demolition. So basically, Demolition is Team Deathmatch with fixed spawn points. And that's how it goes, because I hate regular Team Deathmatch, because it's just everyone spawns in random locations, basically. People could be anywhere. Team Deathmatch, somebody could be behind you at any moment. Demolition is, there's a fixed spawn point, and you know where the enemy is spawning. So, in here it's like you use pure skill, there's no luck, there's no randomness. You know where the enemies are, and, it's, and they know where you are. And it's whoever's better is the guy that will kill everyone. And obviously they're not killing me, because I'm better. So they were using Akimbo's, and now I use Akimbo's. And notice how I use the specialist strike bonus because it's I don't I don't need a private missile to get the kills. I don't need an AC-130 or any of the other strike packages. I don't need that. Because I can use the skills to kill them without using any of the kill streaks. So I go with my the specialist strike package because that's what the pros use. That's what the pros are supposed to use. They even are pros in this game because so far this game is filled with three cards, like I predicted. But anyways, there's not much to explain. Just going around camping this area, and they keep coming back. They don't have to come here. See, they're supposed to defend the bombs over there. They, they keep coming back here for some reason. Now I'm, I'm not complaining. I'm, I'm saying thank you for the kills. Except for that guy, he came from behind, and I didn't see him somehow, but I'm just camping in some area, and they're gladly coming in and giving me kills. Now, this demo is very glitchy because um, this game sucks, basically. This is a very bad game, and I mean, the host system is terrible, and you know, it's, it's just the game itself is really glitchy, laggy. And this guy spawned right behind me. That shows how, bad, how really bad the game is. If somebody spawns right behind me. I mean, if they spawn in front of me, I won't be complaining because I'll shoot them. But if they spawn behind me, then, then there's a problem. And there's, and there's a guy spawned in front of me, which I'm not complaining about. Right and there's somebody up there, but I didn't see him when I was playing. But anyways, I just... Camping with my portable radar. And portable radar is a lot better than stun grenades. First of all, stun grenades are like retarded, overpowered. I mean, not as overpowered as FMG or Kimbo's, but they're pretty overpowered. So portable radar is really nice. You can always get sight of whoever's coming. I mean, stun grenades good for like one or two kills. The portable radar gives you like infinite kills. That's the way I see it. 
Yeah, he's the one killing people. You can snipe with these weapons because that's how overpowered they are. And thanks for a double kill. No, I did not use the main bar, it's just this replay system is terrible. I got flashed, but I don't care. I can just kill these guys like that. They just hump the pillar, go left and right. See how stupid they are. Just go left and right and they'll never know where you are. I didn't actually kill them through the wall there, it's just the replay system is terrible. There's a guy spawned in front of me because this game sucks. I mean, thank you for the kills. Thanks for coming back to this building. I was very generous of you guys to keep coming back in here. Oh, these guys spawned in front of me. Two guys spawned in front of me. I was uh, very nice of them to donate a lot of kills. And we can we can skip this final kill camp, nobody cares about that. So let's just fast forward this. Alright, there we go. And now I got the specialist bonus or what is this? I don't remember what to call it. It's an eight kill streak or whatever. It's really nice. Um basically when you get eight kill streak or seven kills if you have hardline. With a specialist bonus, it'll, it will say something like specialist bonus, I don't remember what it's called, but basically it gives you all of your perks. So when you get that, you have all perks, like scavenger, blind eye, extreme conditioning, all that. You have all of your perks. So it's really nice. So basically, if you use an overpowered weapon, and you use something that makes your weapon makes your overpowered weapon even more overpowered and this becomes unbalanced and as you see FMG Akimbo's with the specialist strike package is a hundred times gayer than the regular FMG Akimbo's and the regular FMG Akimbo's are pretty overpowered so you can imagine how stupid these are I mean not to mention how bad the enemies are as well because last game they used F they everyone used Akimbo's and they thought they were good. So I use it this game and I show you I'll show them how to use it. And they plant this and I'm like nope. I don't know what the guy's doing there. That was retarded. And I'm not defusing it. This is team deathmatch. This is not demolition, this is team deathmatch. Screw that, I'm not defusing that shit. I only defuse it if I want to extend the round or something. And then that was stupid to look away. Obviously, the guy's gonna turn around. He's retarded. But, anyways. Let's go around and kill people. Look how stupid these guns are. Overpowered weapons. And he spawned to my left, and I didn't see it. I don't know how, but. I didn't see it. Nah, I'm gonna let him have B because I just if you give him one bomb site, it extends the round. I've never played demolition before. If one bomb explodes, it extends the round. So with the round extended, I have like two extra minutes of like raping people, which is um, I really like them. So two extra minutes of running around and showing them how to use these weapons. For some reason, I didn't know, but. Now I did. So FMG Kimmel's with scavenger and sleight of hand. Scavenger means you'll never run out of ammo. Sleight of hand is like you're basically reloading so quick that you're basically never out of ammo. It's like retardedly overpowered. And now I saw a guy over there. See, he's not nowhere else, so he's to my right. Obviously, he probably thinks I'm wall hacking, but I look to my left. He's not there. So it's pretty logical to look to the right. Throw down the portable radar so that nobody's here. And the screen's really shaky because, again, as I said earlier, this game sucks. And you got like a shitty host system. But here, what I do is I defuse the bomb because, first of all, my team doesn't do it. And second of all, I want to extend the round. There's like three minutes left in the round. Let's go out. Two minutes left. No, three minutes. Okay, there's three minutes left in the round. 
That's three minutes of like going around and killing people. That's what I like. So I let them have it at the end though. Just go around, kill people with these weapons. Because they're overpowered as fuck. Overpowered weapons. Very hard to use FMG combos. Look at that. I don't know what the guy was doing. He was like sitting behind the truck. Basically, all you gotta do is set up your radar over there and keep running between the two spawn points. That's all you gotta do. Now you go over here. This guy. He just like walks. He doesn't even run. He doesn't jump. He just walks to me. He's like, just kill me. That's what he's saying. Just, just kill me. So I think we let him have. No, I think we're gonna defuse this one. And there's three people over here. I'm like, thank you for your generous donation of kills. There's like more people there. There's a camper gets me. Well, I don't know what he was doing. He just respawned or something. Like, thank you for those kills. And we actually defused this one. Which is nice. And these weapons are very hard to use. And I look down when I run because it's hard to get headshot. I guess it doesn't matter in this game. Marvel 3 it doesn't matter, but it comes from Call of Duty 4. If you, if you aim down while running, you don't get. It's hard to get headshot. Well, I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Uh, See, this guy can't even use an RPG. He shot an RPG between my legs. He can't even use an RPG. It's like so easy. It seems like a large hitbox. He shot it between my legs. It's so bad. This guy prone, he thinks he can like get away with it. I'm like, nope. But even though my teammate used an EMP, I died from it because it makes my whole screen go blank. And I didn't see the, the camper there. But no problem, I can just get these guys. Thank you very much. Get that other guy, thank you very much. And get this guy. With a sleight of hand, I can get these two guys. Thank you very much for your donation of five kills right there. I really like that Blast Shield Assassin Pro sleight of hand and 20 other perks. Okay. Look at that. See, those guys are like prone, they're not even moving. They're like, okay, I'm gonna shoot him when he comes out. But I have all the perks and I run really fast, they can't even hit me. So I'm like, nope. Just gonna run out and be like, how's your day going? Yeah, look at those shitty campers. That's how you do it, you just run out. And I ran forward because there's a grenade behind me. You just gotta keep running. And he'll never hit you. And there's like spawn people right there. Thank you for the kills. Very generous. Thank you very much. Just keep running around and spawn. I ran out of ammo, so I have to use this gun now. And I mean, see, I, I get kills with this gun too. I'm not a, I'm not one of those people that I can only use a Kimbo. So I can use any weapon. I can go around with a knife only. I can, use a, I can like use only a knife and get a lot of kills. I'm just using a Kimbo to piss them off, just to show them how to use it. I'm using the, a normal SMG right now, and I'm still getting kills with it. So I'm not just an a Kimba whore. So just just for the record. But now I got ammo on them, so I'm gonna use the Kimbles again. Just to piss them off. And just to show them to tell them don't use the Kimbles anymore. Now and as I said, the overtime it, it didn't record the overtime round for some reason, but it like it's straight and jumps through the scoreboard just jumps straight to the scoreboard. It doesn't sh record the overtime round. I don't know why. But uh, here's a score at the end and uh, as you can see I just raped the entire team. Like everyone on the enemy team had like more than 20 deaths. And the people that had 20 deaths are probably like joined late or something. Look at the guy on the enemy team. He's like 50 deaths, 48. Everyone has like more than 20 deaths. Now I'm like 17 deaths. I have 103 kills. And yeah, I'm like like the top my score doubles more than doubles the top score on the enemy team just because I was using the Kimbos because the Kimbos are very hard to use obviously right they're actually not hard to use I was being sarcastic but yeah I hope you enjoyed um, 
I might be uploading more. I don't know, this game sucks. <laughs> I don't know why I still play it. Um, I didn't pay for it, so just for the record. I knew it was going to suck when it came out. I knew there was going to be something overpowered. Um, so I did not buy the game. I'm playing it. Um, I don't, I don't want to say how, but I did not buy the game. I knew it was going to suck. If there is a Modern Warfare 4, it's going to suck. If there's a new call, it doesn't matter what. If there's a new Call of Duty coming out in 2012 or fall 2012, it's gonna suck. I don't know what it is. I, I don't know what's the new Call of Duty. I never looked at anything. But if there is one, it's gonna suck. And as long as people are releasing a new Call of Duty every single year, it's gonna suck because they're pushing it. They're rushing the game. This game is rushed. What's new in this game? What is new in Modern Warfare 3? Tell me. Different maps. Um, they nerfed some stuff from Modern Warfare 3 and they put in some new overpowered stuff like the FMG Akimbos. That's it. Like, almost all the weapons are the same. They just added some weapons, a few new maps, and um, just different kill streaks. That's about it. it. Took them a year to do that and you paid 60 bucks for it. But the single player is good. I'm, I'm only talking about the multiplayer. The single player is very good. So, the new Call of Duty, if it's coming out, I'm not buying it. I'll play it, I'll, I won't tell you how, but I'll be playing it, make some videos, but, you know, it's it's gonna suck, it's gonna suck just like this one, it's gonna suck like Modern Warfare 2 sucked, it's gonna suck like Black Ops, the original Call of Duty is the Call of Duty 4 and Call of Duty 2, which people still play the most, way more than this one, but I'll probably still upload some of these games, just because I feel like it, anyways, enjoy. Thanks for watching.